Let me begin. My name is Manjie Kim. I'm a professor at Kangaroo National University, and I also would like to introduce my co-author in the Oshu of John, but she is not uh, present at this moment. I'm going to present a paper on changing perception of cosmetic surgery and ethical consideration in Korea. Okay. Okay. Next. And then, yeah. Well, traditionally, and Korean culture used to consider the body and the skin as received from the parents, therefore cherishing the body based on the teachings of Confucius. Already increased the interest in appearance and the effects of media and entertainment industry, the perception of cosmetic surgery has been continuously changed from negative to positive one. So is particularly well known as plastic surgery capital of the world. More cosmetic procedures are performed per capita in South Korea than anywhere else in the world. If you go to Gangnam in Seoul, you will be able to see many signposts uh, like this. Well, I know that you cannot read Korean, but these words are all, uh, this means that uh, cosmetic surgery, everything after building. Because cosmetic surgery industry is very much related or with medical tourism policies, I would like to introduce some. Uh, 2009 was a historical year because the medical law was revised, introducing a registration system for foreign patients. Since then, several policies have been adopted. For example, in 2018, Medical Tourism Support Center was opened at Incheon International Airport. This graph shows that medical tourists have continuously increased since 2009, except 2017. And what happened in that year is, uh, there was a third uh, called uh, terminal high altitude area defense dispute between Korea and China. So because of that, uh, Chinese tourists uh, sharply declined. However, in general, an average annual growth rate was 22.7% uh, over a decade. If you look at another graph, it indicates medical departments that tourists visited in 2018 except internal medicine departments combined, the Department of Cosmetic Surgery stands out. Uh, dermatology occupies the third, so beauty industry uh, attracted a lot of you know, medical naturists. Based on this the background, uh, we try to analyze the changes in the perception of cosmetic surgery by using published articles whose titles contain cosmetic surgery. And in Korea, we have a data system called the WIS, Research Information Sharing Service. So we use the data of between 1983 and 2019. We use the several research methods to analyze data. We use the R for statistical computing, uh, UNICEF for the analysis of social network data, natural for visualizing social network data, and uh, the latent uh, directly allocation to find out latent topics. The very first paper appeared in uh, one, uh, 1963. Uh, whereas the second one was published in 1983, so the very first one is not very really significant in terms of the academic sense. But therefore, it is fair to say cosmetic surgery has received academic attention since 1983. Between that year and um, 2019, there were uh, 
840 papers in total. In 2009, when medical tourism policies first introduced, the largest numbers of papers were published as of uh, 66. Since then, around 45 papers on average were continuously published every year. For an analysis, we included papers with English titles and four abstracts only because we did not want to disturb the meaning through the translation of the important numbers of papers we finally analyzed to 794 for English titles and 653 for English abstracts. When we divided into two periods, uh, there were more papers in later period than earlier one before uh, 2009. When we classify papers by academic fields, cosmetic surgery of course showed the largest numbers of papers, but then humanities and social science occupied the second. So therefore, we decided to compare these two fields later. When we divided papers into two periods, uh, there were not you know, significant differences in cosmetic surgery, uh, 285 versus 2090. By contrast, when you look at humanities and social science, uh, we noticed that about 90% of papers were published since 2010. When uh, we did the keyword analysis for papers with English titles, the surgery, let me see. No. Subject cosmetic study, the correction, breast orthotic, and treatment occupied high range. In table four, yeah, we compared top ten keywords in two periods. Only three words, surgery, uh, correction, and study were included in both periods. Comparison by academic fields, uh, when you look at uh, uh, keywords analysis, there was no single keyword which appeared simultaneously in both periods. In cosmetic surgery, uh, there were specifically surgery related words. Uh, by contrast, in humanities and social science, keywords were more general and tourism oriented. Uh, although we did the latent uh, delinquent allocation for English titles and abstracts in total by period and academic fields, and I'm going to produce English titles in total only because of time limit. Uh, the first one shows the optimal number of topics. So I'm not sure we'll be able to say, but uh, 13 turned out to be the optimum. So the second figure on the right side presents an intertopic distance map among topics. Finally, this analysis shows uh, keywords in each topic. And because of uh, space limits, I listed uh, eight keywords only for each topic because the latent uh, delinquent allocation itself does not provide the name of the topic. You have to guess the meaning of topic by looking at keywords, and but I couldn't really find out uh, the the right title for each topic. But in the, for example, in the first topic seems to be cosmetic surgery related. By contrast, the second topic looks like the medical tourism related because it contains uh, Korea, cosmetic Chinese, and tourism things like that. But from now on, I'm going to show the results of analysis using English abstracts. Table 8 addresses keywords and degree centrality analysis. The degree centrality of node is simply its degree, the number of edges it has. So the higher the degree, the more central the node is. Although there are several variations, the order of frequencies is quite similar to that of degree centrality. And 
this is why she was the result of the natural, <laughs> natural analysis. Bigger lines represent stronger degrees than quality. I'm not going to go into detail. When we compare English abstract by two periods, there were not much differences. Eight out of the you know, ten keywords appeared in both periods. Result of the quality was also similar to that of frequencies. So only two um, minutes left. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> and then I think uh, it will take too much time, but I'd like to mention um, that when you compare, oh, the next one. So when you compare cosmetic surgery and humanities and social sciences, um, results were very different. And except in the three keywords, research surgery and study, they were all different. And then I wrote the skate, so I'd like to make a conclusion. And in terms of the ethical considerations, and the first one, uh, cosmetic surgery has been intensely commercialized and competitive. Clinics and hospitals sometimes advertise by using famous actors and addresses, photos, to give a fantasy that customers can be changed like them after surgery. And the second one says that you know, a large number of patients do not possess uh, complete information about the real implications of the practice, both positive and negative, <coughs> and concerning social vulnerability. The number of women who go for cosmetic surgery is far much higher than the number of men. Therefore, the controversy is revolving the issue with concern about social vulnerability of women. And the fourth one is the role of media and aesthetics. Media, particularly TV programs, have become uh, the main source of information about cosmetic surgery. They tend to be rapidly spread out through SNS, including YouTube. The final one is about the unbalanced position or uh, provision of medical doctors. And while cosmetic surgery is one of popular departments among medical students, some departments suffer from the lack of working staff. For example, uh, and as a result, some accidents were reported in the Department of Pediatric and Adolescence and the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, which is suspected that those accidents were particularly caused by an overworking of the doctors. So I'd like to uh, end my presentation and thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs> thank you very much, sir. For your name, Nasima Sultana. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, so the question and answer session will be at the end of the presentation. So I would like to call upon the next speaker, uh, Rahman Imam, Consultant Psychiatrist, Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Sarkari Karmachari Hospital, Dhaka. Dr. Rahman, please.